everybody. Today I wanted to review my Canon 15 by 50 image stabilized binoculars. And I got these binoculars about a year ago, mostly for the purposes of astronomy and looking at the stars in the night sky. And I gotta say, after having them for a while, they're just fantastic. So without further ado, let me take them out of this case. This case, by the way, is from eBay. About $25, and I like it better than the one it comes with. Um, Canon's case is a really dinky, um, you know, bag, and for binoculars that cost six or seven hundred dollars used and fifteen hundred dollars or so new, I just needed something better. So I went ahead and got this case. I went ahead and put on these Peak Design little um, uh, keychain, keyring thingies that let you put on Peak Design straps, and this has worked really well. So as you'll see, these are basically um, the binoculars. They're basically like two refractor telescopes bolted together and they give you great views. You get about four degrees of view and that's enough to put the entire Orion's belt, the belt part of the constellation in the view. You can get the moon in there quite nicely. Um, you can get the Pleiades pretty much completely, all seven sister stars. And you know, you've got your focuser ring here, you've got your diopter. Um, the most important thing is this button. So when you press that button, you'll hear it. And that means that it's image stabilizing as we speak. And no matter what you do, the little tiny motions of your hand, they'll be canceled out by the image stabilization. And then to turn it off, you just give it a click and it's off. Now you can hold it and let go if you want for quick um, stabilization, or in this model, you can hold it down for a second and it'll hold on for five minutes. It's got the lithium batteries in there, Energizer Lithiums, and you've got a um, little tripod mount if you so if you choose to do that. These are made in Japan. I actually have the 10 by 30s. Those are made in Taiwan. These are actually made, you know, the, the legit deal in Japan. Um, like I said, really fantastic binoculars. If you do anything with the night sky, if you just need them on a boat, um, you know, what, whatever you choose, I can't recommend them highly enough. When I use binoculars that don't have our image stabilization button. I'm like, this is the year 2021. Why doesn't every binocular have this? I need that little green light. And you know, if you've ever tried to look at the stars with any magnification, what you end up getting is squiggly lines instead of an actual um, good, good picture of the stars. So more than my telescopes, certainly more than my little refractor, which is a short tube 80, I use these binoculars on a regular basis. They're great for looking at satellites when the International Space Station flies over. I reach for these as well. Again, if you have an opportunity to get these, grab them. They make an 18 by 50 version, as well as a slightly different 10 by 42 version. I like the 15s. They're about two and a half pounds. They're okay on the neck. The 18s are really zoomed in. You won't fit all three Orion belt stars in there to give you an idea. It's a much narrower field of view, but you'll probably get a more pleasant view of the moon. It's important to note that these will not show you the rings of Saturn or significant planetary detail. 15 times is not enough for that, but it will show you some great star clusters out there and it'll do a great job, you know, terrestrially as well. I've taken them bird watching and done nature hikes and stuff like that too. So yeah, if you have the opportunity to get some Canon image stabilized binoculars, I highly recommend them. You can get binoculars two to three times as expensive. Swarovski makes them. There's other companies that make very high-end optics. Honestly, image stabilization is what's necessary for astronomy, and you can't go wrong. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you like it, uh, hit the like button, and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and have a good day.